Okay, I uh, posted my uh, Magnavox combo unit a uh, couple of months ago, and uh, slowly but surely I've been kind of working on it. So uh, now I kind of got it apart. I got it, I'm cleaning everything. Uh, so I got the front covers off. I just got done. Uh, I haven't done the tops yet, but the uh, I went ahead and got some uh, some cleaner it's like a restore finish that I got at Home Depot and uh, I went over the uh, pretty much the sides and the front here already with it and uh, it's actually doing a pretty good job it's kind of hard to see in the on the thing here but uh, you can just kind of see it's I mean it actually has a gloss to it I mean I, it might be hard to see but before it was real dull and dirty and dingy um, so I'm still in the process of working on this I need to my next step is to uh, finish the top get the top all done and then uh, and then uh, I'm gonna clean these speaker grills uh, they don't really I'm not gonna replace them they're not ripped up or anything they're just a little dirty so those are fine of course that one's that one's a little more dirty than the other one but that's all right so anyway that's kind of what I've been working on with this lately um, it's still in the my uh, dad's condo that he's slowly but surely fixing up as you can tell by some of the uh, stuff in the background there so yeah it's, it's coming along uh, I'll uh, get a movie of the back in a minute I still have it in a part okay here is the uh, the back half of it. Um, I think I guess since the last time I posted, I've uh, posted this up. I uh, I've taken the chassis out, uh, the TV chassis out. Uh, again, I'm still not going to use the TV unless you know I can get somebody to kind of work on it. But I'm not too concerned with the TV. Uh, I still just want to get the radio working. Uh, I'm going to have somebody uh, go over the record player with me because I'm not real sure how to do that. But uh, everything else I've, uh, I've taken out. Uh, I cleaned everything. I vacuumed it. I uh, got the 45 years of dirt out of it. It was pretty nasty. I think I, in the other videos you can, you can see that. Uh, but anyway, this is still a uh, work in progress. Um, it's not really I'm in no big hurry I mean I just I would rather take my time and do this right uh, I still have yet to recap the uh, radio chassis but I'll get to that here in the next couple of weeks um, pretty much the last I come out here uh, which this condo is about 20 miles away from my house uh, I just come out here and uh, work on this like probably every other Sunday something like that uh, you know, it just depends, especially the real, we've been having really crappy snowy weather seems to hit on the weekend. So I haven't been out here a whole lot, but, uh, but yeah, um, as you could tell, I'm might not be able to tell, but I know that you just see a spaghetti of wires right now, but, um, Magnavox for some reason didn't, um, use a lot of wire ties with their wires. I've noticed when I was, uh, taking this thing apart. They just kind of left all the wires just kind of dangle and lay how they are. They did have a few, uh, like, bread tie wire ties. And I guess that's what they used at the time, but there was only a couple of those. Um, so what I did was I got my own wire ties, which are right there. And those little sticky square things that the wire ties attach the wires to, which uh, I got one there, actually two there. And then two more on the other side, which are over there. Figure I put those in, may make the wiring look a little neater. Um, keep the wires kind of one spot. Um, yeah, so I thought that was, I think that's a good idea. That way the wires don't go flying all over the place when I move this thing. So, so yeah, I still have... 
still on track to get this this working like I said it's just a slow go I'm in no big hurry I would just rather take my time and just kind of go through it um, and then I live in an apartment right now um, and I don't have any room for this thing so whenever it uh, whenever I get it done it's gonna stay out here and then eventually I'm gonna get either a condo or a house and then I'm gonna take it with me um, The only problem is to get it out of this room because years ago when we put it in here I have to flip I have to flip the entire unit on its side we have to rock it through the door because the hallway is very very tiny in here <laughs> so uh, to get it out you gotta flip it up on its side rock it out Put it back down and then walk it through the, the bathroom door and then walk it out the little hall out into the living room. I'm not going to show that because, like I said, this condo is a work in progress and it's it's pretty nasty out there. So, anyway. So, once now that I have this kind of refinished, um, except for the tops, again, I'm going to, I need to do something with the tops. They're a little worse than the sides, of course, but, um, but I am keeping it covered. I clean, I was out here a couple, about three, about four weeks ago, and uh, I just cleaned it real good with some uh, with some uh, Murphy's oil soap, and took a lot of the grime and stuff off the top. But it kind of didn't really fade it. It's just you know it's 40 years old. It's been by a window. The uh, the top actually, if you if I can get a picture of it, it might not be easy to see. Let me go this way. Yeah, it's hard to see, but compared to the rest of the unit, this side is the worst. Um, it's a little faded. Um, the back isn't too bad. Because before I got it, when it was my grandma's, it sat in front of a window um, for years. Probably a good 20 years it sat in front of a, a window in a, in a you know 80-year-old house with the original windows so they leaked air and water and all kinds of good stuff so yeah just real quick there's all there's a lot of the part there's one of the speakers and there's just I just got various parts on this little shelf right here so everything's labeled everything's marked there's the uh, there's the turntable down there so, yeah, this is uh, this is still kind of a work in progress. Here's uh, there's, <laughs> there's the chassis part of it. I've still got to work on that a little bit. Like I said, I still got to recap it. So, anywho, I'll give you one more quick shot of the inside here, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna call this done for a while because I need to get going home. <laughs> So, anyway. Oh, and on the chassis, I went ahead and uh, I cleaned all the uh, the pots. I cleaned a few of the other odds and ends things on there. There was a, I showed in another video, there was right where those wire tie bags were sitting, there was a, uh, a uh, uh, remote sensor to when the TV worked. To change the um, change the TV channels and it also controls the record player. So um, anyway, that had a lot of solenoids and all kinds of gizmos on it. So I went ahead and cleaned all that stuff up too. Um, everything actually looks pretty good. I re-cleaned most of the wires, just kind of wiped them off with some with some cleaner because all the wires actually. Most of these wires, except for like the yellows and the and the and the oranges, you really couldn't tell what color the wires were. So uh, anyway, again, it is a work in progress, and uh, thanks for watching.